Margaret Thatcher and £50 notes. George, I know that you hate Margaret Thatcher, but why actually should someone who was such a successful Prime Minister in terms of winning terms, uh, who many other people, not you, liked and revered, why should she not actually be on a banknote? I mean, we have a lot of divisive characters on our banknotes. Well, it would stop the Bullingdon Club lighting them up and waving them in front of homeless people in shop How would doorways. It stop? That's How would it stop probably... them? How would it stop well, them? Well, they wouldn't want to burn their idol, would they? Uh, but nothing could debase an under siege currency like the pound more <laughs> than putting the grisly visage of Margaret Thatcher uh, on the note. Better than putting it, your visage on. <laughs> imagine I, I could think imagine of, putting honestly, your, hundred, your visage on. I could think of a hundred better candidates. Name one. Actually. Well, the one I've come up with is Dame Vera Lynn, right. who yeah. is a uh, centenary. Probably the least polarising pe person in the world. Kept I agree. the home fires burning whilst Mrs Thatcher shut the coal mines. Uh, kept the country's morale up whilst Mrs Thatcher destroyed it. She tore the heart out of Britain. Most of the problems we have in Britain today date back okay, to George Stanley. There's the, George. Stanley, George. there's the charge sheet. And there is, a, there is a point to what George is saying, which is actually why choose somebody who is so obviously and undeniably polarising, right? Some people love her, some people However, hate her. Why, why, not go for, why not go for Dame Vera Lynn? I Everyone want to loves. make it clear, I've got nothing against Dame Vera Lynn. When I was doing this, I'm a celebrity. I actually sang We'll Meet Again some day, some don't know where, don't know when, in the jungle. Nothing against Vera Lynn. Great, a great lady. But Mrs Thatcher, let's face it, 1979, she mm. came in. We were in shambles. We had a Labour government and we were in total shambles. We'd just been to the IMF for a huge, massive which, bailout. Which Do you remember? turns out we didn't need. Do you need. remember? A massive bailout. Turns and out we didn't need. she did turn the country around. Now, George, you know perfectly well, we faced the prospect of a far-left government. We had Scargill. We had James the minus Callaghan. We James had... Callaghan, a far-left no, government. we faced... We already Don't had the prospect rot. of Scargill... She destroyed in our energy industry, no. destroyed anyway, our let's, steel let's industry. Go, let's come George, back. Tore the country but George, it would, be, it would only be on the £50 note. Yeah, well, only <laughs> rich people yeah. would ever see it. Would you have, Chir would you have Churchill on a bank note? Uh, yes. Uh, got it? If not for Churchill, we'd be conducting yeah, we've this had an argument, conversation we've had an argument in this week. I'd, I'd, But I'd, he's already on the back. No, no. But, he, but he also, as we discovered this week in the debate, he's also side. a very divisive character. Sure, but for people. 12 months, only 12 months mm -hmm. of his very long life, he made the difference between our existence and our non-existence. Nobody could say that about Mrs George, Thatcher. George, she undermined I Britain. think mm -hmm. you are absolutely talking nonsense. You've got to be talking nonsense. This is a lady, by the way, she helped me very much in 1979. I'm sure she did, she and people like and you, she helped too. The, and let me tell you something. Stanley, she helped in what the country. way did she help you? Well, she helped me be elected to the European Parliament on the back of that massive mm -hmm. May 1979 election. Mm. She came in, we had 61. MEPs, and I will tell you something else. It may not be the moment to say it, but Mrs. Thatcher actually helped create the European single, single market. market exactly. She was crucial in that. People tend to forget it nowadays. So she deserves. I thought it was a scandal when Oxford University refused to give her an honorary degree. A total, a total. George, do you have a, you have a, George, do you ever use fifty pound notes? Uh, actually, does anybody use yes. bank notes yes. uh, anymore? My wallet is stuffed with it. I'm a contactless. Uh, mm. uh, I do. Stan, you must do, right? Very rarely see a fifty pound. If you see no. a fifty pound note, you automatically think it's a fake. But here's my just point. Like here's my point. It's also a weird actually, I, I like them fifty pound notes because you, you don't have to have too many notes in your wallet, right? Here's my point about fifty pound notes. I have no idea what's on them now. I, I don't what, care. It's you, a fifty pound note. Why exactly. do we care so much? There's only going to be would, a few you, people. Well, you, if you put her on the bank note, it will the, a cottage industry will develop. Can, okay, okay. Oh, defacing it. Okay, you say that, but tell me who's on a ten pound note. Wait, don't stand it. Shush. I don't know. Who's on a twenty pound note? Don't know. Five pound note. Don't know. So it doesn't. George. Matter. Churchill's on. George. It Churchill. Matter. George. Churchill's on. Five. I've done you. I've done you. The yeah, truth is. Nobody knows what's on these well, notes. I but they'll know if you so it doesn't on. matter. I know it's Jane Austen. Jane Austen is on the ten pound note. The Queen is on all of them because she's on the obverse side. And, and you're Jane pretty, Austen you're to pretty me, obverse she a, sometimes. What she was the Barbara single Castle. most divisive woman of her generation. Barbara Castle was the best <laughs> woman prime minister we never have. She introduced the Equal Pay Act, even though it's not entirely enforced yet here. Uh, in this room and elsewhere. Why do we meet in the middle between Barbara Castle and uh, Margaret? What about Tony Blair? <laughs> do you know, uh, now, George, I will say one, one serious point here. I would give you Clement Attlee. Clement Attlee 
you know, OK, he was a Labour a, yeah. a Labour leader, but he was a great man, and he shared with Mr Churchill mm. Mm. the business of running... Well, the we've war. actually got the answer, just to round off this debate. We've actually come up with a £50 note, which we think, we think this has everything, has a bit of everything for everyone. A man and a woman who the entire nation love and celebrate on a daily basis. There we are. <laughs> oh, a good one. <laughs> and there's another one. There'll be two in, two in the set. There's the other. There we are. Oh, bravo. Uh, Rather attractive, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have... say that anymore, George. <laughs> Uh, if you had debate. to choose between Baroness Thatcher and Tony Blair... Yeah, which one would you have? That'd be one or the other. No, I, I, Actually, a better question, George. <laughs> if you had to be dropped on a desert island for the rest of your natural life with either a living Margaret Thatcher or Tony Blair, which one would you choose? I'd choose Tony Blair and I would promptly strangle him. <gasps> George! Oh, that's so disgusting. George, you, you always let yourself down at the last minute on these interviews. <laughs> Stanley? No, I'd go for Mrs Thatcher. Did you? I'd go for Mrs. I Thatcher. thought you might. Yeah, You'd have an yeah. interesting time with both of them. Yeah, Stanley, you were never Although... going to choose to be dropped with a man on a desert island, were you? It was always going to be the woman. <laughs> well, Mrs. Thatcher was some lady, I can tell you. <laughs> and would she be able to negotiate her way out, even though, as you say, key architect of the single market, fan of the EU... Do you with know what Mrs. Moderator? Thatcher would have said? She would have said it is quite intolerable that this whole question of the Northern Ireland border has come to dominate mm. uh, the, a decision How about the future it, of Joe our Stanley? country. Hmm? How would she fix it? Oh, she would have said, look, if the Irish want to shoot each other, they will shoot each other, whether there's a hard border or whether there's a soft border. That is you know, something the Irish will do if they it's want to do Britain it. It's actually Britain that shot most Irish yeah. people. But so I think, basically, Mrs Thatcher would not have had any truck with this scheme by the EU to elevate the border question into a way of making sure we stay in the EU. OK, that conversation strayed into areas I wasn't expecting on, on both your parts. Stanley, so George Stanley, thank is you. Is your son going to be Prime Minister by Christmas? The key point now is to get out of the EU in a way which the British people mm -hmm. wanted us out. And honestly, Chuck Checkers... Sounds like, sounds like a pop star, Chuck so Checkers, you mean, doesn't he? You mean Chuck Brexiteer Checkers. needs to be in charge? I think a Brexiteer needs to say Brexit means... Brexit. And can you think of any leading Brexiteer that's been saying this repeatedly who would make a good oh, leader right now? I think they're one or two around. One or two around. More and more seem to be popping up out of the woodwork. Now, Stanley, just in case, have you prepared a, a first father speech? <laughs> a first father speech. <laughs> I am very happy to be here today. This is a great <laughs> occasion. I never expected it to happen. But since it has happened, I want to say we are jolly well going to make the best of it. Oh, I rather oh. like that, Stanley Johnson. Rousing. I rather like the idea that Johnson's running around down the street. First not father, as much I do as like George that. George likes it. Well, I rather like that speech. There's a certain Churchill in I'm hoping for voice. it myself. I didn't both, know. It. Both of you. I... If I was running a voiceover company, I'm telling you, you two would be top of my list. Let in it fact, not be. On the same, on the same adverts. Yeah. A pair of you. I Let it you... not be said. From this day forth, that we never rose to the occasion. <laughs> <laughs>